Do you have a cysty dog? In this new video, I'm gonna show you five new ways to treat the cyst naturally. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. Pipster has a bunch of lumps and bumps. I'm gonna show you one in particular that we're gonna work on. Most common in our dogs are these sebaceous cysts, these skin cysts just under the surface of the skin or the epidermis. And then there's a picture there of what some of these sebaceous cysts are gonna look like. Sebaceous cysts, they're filled with an oily product called sebum. They develop around the sebaceous glands and they're associated with the hair follicles. So they're helping produce that kind of shiny coating, that protective coating, gives your dog that nice shiny glistening hair. And at the same time, you know, keeps that skin strong and healthy, making it resistant to things such as infection or from allergens penetrating in through the skin. Pippi has this relatively slow growing lump. It's been over top of her right carpus or her right wrist for about five years, not causing any problems. But this is kind of how some of these sebaceous cysts or any cysts might pop up. Just under the skin, it's very soft, it's easily movable. It almost feels like there's a little bit of fluid in there. Guess what? Like a cyst, so we're gonna be using our top remedies on this pipster so we can make it a little smaller. Good girl. And to be clear, a cyst is any type of fluid-filled structure that is obstructed. But any type of cyst is really, you've got fluid encased inside of some type of structure and it's not able to leave to go into the skin where it normally would go. So what we're trying to do is somehow like break that down, allow that to open up and drain, and heal without you having to go in and have surgery for your dog. So number one, like the first principle in any type of lump cyst is the hot compress. So what we wanna do is apply heat to the surface of that cyst. It's gonna increase circulation to the cyst. It's gonna help soothe and break it down and ultimately speed healing by helping to open up that block duct. Hot water in a recently boiled kettle going into our bowl. Soak your cloth in the bowl. Touch it on your own skin so you know, know it's not too hot, which it isn't. It's like comfortable to you. Then you're gonna be putting that onto your dog's cyst and you're gonna be holding that for a good 10 minutes. And you wanna do this four times a day. Believe it or not, like using a hot compress properly being diligent about it, doing it four times a day for up to 14 days, this is really important. Number two, it's a topical anti-inflammatory that rapidly penetrates in through the skin, can get absorbed by the cyst. It can then open up that inflamed duct, allow all the inside contents of the cyst to drain. Guess what? You've naturally treated the cyst at home. What is it? The organosulfur compound liquid dmso liquid dmso it's really inexpensive very effective and very safe we're going to drop it directly onto your cyst right here there's three drops rub that all over the surface of the cyst you're going to be doing that twice a day minimum 14 days to assess whether it's helping or not If that cyst is sort of ruptured and open and oozy, kind of looks like that, then you want to deal with some of that surface infection first. So number three, this is a really good option for that. This gentle skin astringent, it's witch hazel with aloe. The aloe, it's a great topical anti-inflammatory. The witch hazel is a gentle astringent, meaning it'll sort of dry up all the oozy secretions. Great for a dog with an infected cyst. Secondarily, it's antibacterial. So many of these cysts are secondary infected with bacteria. This is a great topical option for that. Squirt a small amount of the witch hazel with aloe onto a cotton swab. Then I'd suggest just using that swab, wiping the infected cysts four times a day. Do that somewhere between seven to 10 days. And that sort of deal with that secondary infection. Number four, a very inexpensive, super safe topical anti-inflammatory. Many of you have not even considered. None other than the bean of the castor plant, castor oil. Castor oil, it's a super safe topical anti-inflammatory. 
and many, many people have found it be beneficial for some of their cysts. You know what I'm thinking? Like, why not try it on our dogs? Just a few drops, rub it in, do that twice a day. A really good option would be to put on the, this, the topical castor oil, rub that in, then follow that up with DMSO. <clears throat> because what's going to happen is that the DMSO is going to penetrate in through the skin, bringing in the castor oil. Two anti-inflammatories at one, Pipster. The number five, an oral anti-inflammatory can also be used topically, really safe, may really help shrink these cysts. We've talked about it a lot, and I'm sure using it a lot. It's this, CBD, cannabidiol. Standard dog dose is about three milligrams per 10 pounds of body once or twice daily. It's gonna need to be given for a minimum of 30 days before you can really assess if it's being beneficial or not. Pipster here is gonna get her 15 milligrams because she's 50 pounds. That's three milligrams per 10 pounds of body weight daily. I'm putting five drops on my finger. There you go, Pippi, here's your five drops. Yeah. As well too, you could topically put it right on the lump. So if you've got this little cyst, put a couple drops on the cyst. You could then rub that into the cyst and you could follow that up with DMSO as well and have it penetrate into that cyst. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets of how to treat cysts in your dogs. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, then you click the link directly in the box below. I can send you a copy of my free book.